which had established and with the zone and a few things that they threw at you. It seemed like you guys were pretty clinical out there in terms of just diagnosing and creating on offense. What did you like best about the 48 minutes that you put together on that end? I thought uh, we had great recognition. You know, they changed things up throughout the course of the game as they did in game one. I thought we had great recognition of how we needed to attack tonight. You know, when they played their base stuff, and then when they, you know, they went small, they played zone. Uh, we were prepared for them to do both of those things at some point in the series. It was good that we got a look at that tonight because uh, it allowed us to get uh, some attacks in, and we can learn from those because I would imagine they'll go back to that. Um, and so I thought really good 48-minute execution out of the team. And defensively, I mean, you guys have, have feasted on this all year, but I think you had eight offensive fouls that you drew tonight just on pure hustle, you know, busting around screens. Did that, do those kind of have compounding impact over the course of a game? Um, no, I mean, they're just a turnover, you know, so it's an empty possession. I thought our physicality at the point of screens made us a moving target, uh, and they had to move out of their path to go get those plays. Um, you know, so I thought our physicality, our – our intensity on that end of the floor was really good. And now the challenge is um, to continue to grow and learn and improve uh, with the series because the Pelicans are going to improve. You know, they're a good team uh, that's going home and they're well coached. They're going to get better. You know, and so we have to continue to get better. Mark, just what did you make of Chet's time and getting out of screens today and what that might have created for you guys? Chet's, I'm sorry. Time and getting out of screens. Yeah, I thought he had a really good blend. I thought he had good recognition of how they were playing him. They threw different looks at him. They had uh, Jones on him at one point. They played some zone. They had Nance on him. They had Valanchunas on him. So uh, they moved around the matchups, and I thought he just had great recognition and great feel for um, how they were covering him and what he needed to do to kind of free us up and free himself up. And I mean, I won't be presumptive. I don't know how much he could control some of those early Jonas baskets, but how do you see him maybe bounce back from that and kind of go shot for shot with him just – overall like digest that first half yeah I mean you gotta you can't take everything away you know and I thought um he did a really good job of hanging in there some of the early Valanchunas baskets were uh he was helping and it was rotational stuff a couple were offensive rebounds so it wasn't just pure like point of attack post up there was uh other stuff that Valanchunas got into the game during that stretch that we could have cleaned up but Chet did a great job on him tonight yeah, Mark, you guys seem to play with some really good pace tonight, uh, not just for your offense, but seem to kind of speed them up on their offense tonight. Um, did you come into this game after – I know you guys want to play with uh, – be a team that plays with good pace, but did you come into this game after game one saying you got to play a little bit faster? I thought both teams did that. You know, I thought they came in with that intention. That's been a trend uh, among these teams that were on the road in game one around the league. Everybody tried to play a little bit faster in game two. Uh, the road teams did and so we knew that they would come out and try to push the pace we wanted to do the same thing and so the game was fast early in both directions um, only nine turnover really eight because the last one with the, with the shot clock violation um what you think about the just the way you guys can contain the ball and uh, just against this good defensive team yeah i mean we want to be aggressive you know so we're never it's never like a point of uh, emphasis to not turn it over. We want to. We don't want to play defense with the ball. We want to be an aggressive team. But I thought we made the early plays for the most part tonight and kept the ball ahead of them. Um, but again, you know, this is a good team that is going to go back to the drawing board. They're going home. They're going to gain confidence from that. They're going to play with great energy, and we've got to continue to improve our attacks uh, and improve our force on that end of the floor, so that we can continue to stay ahead of them because it's not easy to do against this team. Yeah, Mark, in the pregame, you talked about you know, the teams that had gone down 1-0 had come out particularly early. New Orleans came out early, but you countered that really quickly, particularly Chet. How important was that? To, they they looked like they were intent on taking over, but you didn't let them, and you got the jump. Yeah, it was critical. You know, we got an early grip on the game. I thought our players did a great job of understanding the mentality of the opponent uh, coming in, and we've got to continue to do that. It's a long series. Um, and, you know, they're going home. Like I said, they're going to be a better team at home, and they're going to be a better team because they're, they've got good players and they're well coached. And so um, we have to have the same type of approach in understanding the way that they're going to come out and um, get ourselves to that level again. You uh, able to get to the basket a lot better this uh, early on than you were in game one. Did you do something different or just play better? Because you chased them, they, they went to that zone just to slow you up on yeah. your penetration. Yeah. I, I thought our attacks tonight were really good. I thought the guys really executed. I thought our recognition was really good. 
both teams move things around when they sub and they move things around tactically. And uh, in the first game, I thought both teams were kind of calibrating. And um, tonight we had much quicker recognition of the way that they were guarding us, the way we wanted to attack. Um, and we got to those things pretty well, even against the zone. I thought we, we stumbled a little bit in the first couple of possessions. And once we realized that's what they were doing, I thought we got great stuff against it. Mark, obviously Lou was great in game one against Ingram and even better, I think, probably tonight with only 10 shots allowed of Ingram. What impressed you considering, I mean, coming out of game one, you have to think they're going to do some different things. What impressed you about Lou on the ball on Ingram? Uh, I thought he was great. You know, again, great physicality, great energy, you know, team defense on Ingram. I thought they they did some good stuff, you know, creatively to get him some cracks uh, and free him up. He got cleaner looks tonight than uh, he did in game one, and so we can study that and improve um, how we're countering that. But, you know, Lou was, was on him. You know, he was on his body early, his physical with him without fouling, uh, and made, made him earn everything again. There's been so much made of this team's size and rebounding. You threw out an essential five-guard lineup tonight. What did you see out there that made you go to that? Um, I mean, Chet was in foul trouble, and then, um, you know, they had Nance out there, and, you know, could I thought about maybe doing Jay Will or Kay Rich there, but Dub has the same type of effect. I think Giddy was out there at that time, so we had – Shea was out there, Lou. So we had some, like, size and physicality out there um, and wanted to take a look at it, you know, that's – on their menu, you know, that's something they can go to in this series and uh, wanted to take a look at what that looked like. You know, you you have to learn early in the series, you know, and we, we did it to try to learn what it looked like against them. Andrew Schleck with The Athletic. There was an error in the way that the fouls are reported in the first half with Chet specifically, yep. and you pulled him out of the game thinking he had three fouls. Would you have pulled him if you thought he had two? No, of course not. I mean, he didn't play the last seven and a half minutes of the second quarter. And the foul that got corrected was the first foul of the game, um, but I want to be clear: like that referee crew, that's not that that's not their call. That that's replay center stuff. So I thought um, the refs, the three refs tonight, were very good. You know, they're in a t they're, they have a tough job. You know, and they're in a tough spot. And I thought they they called a really good game. And that that one's not on them. That's that's they're taking direction on that one. And then just your overall thoughts on on Shea tonight, how he got loose. Uh, he was great. You know, he I thought he had good force, um, you know, got his cracks, got downhill, good balance, found teammates uh, in some critical spots, even shots we didn't make. I thought he had good sprays uh, and really had good control of the game, especially into the first quarter and into the third. Michael Martin, let's talk Thunder. Um, tonight you guys shoot 50% around there from three, and I think a lot of box score watchers will just say that's the big difference from tonight. You mentioned force and a few other things. What are some of the more invisible factors that you think really – carried you guys tonight uh, I think we got good shots uh, and that had something to do with it but I think it's an important you know shot making is is the most variant thing in the game you know and I think it's important for us not to get drunk on the final score and understand that we shot the ball really well tonight um, and that we need to get ourselves to zero you know in the next game because shooting the ball like that is never a guarantee as we learned in game one and so again we got to put our head down and uh, learn and improve uh, and continue to be a better team with every game because New Orleans is going to do that as well. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.